Hi, today I'm going to explain how to execute the automatic payment run, which is a process we use to run multiple outgoing payments to the vendors at the same time. And as usual, I'm also going to add some insights to the process and some configuration tips. In the last video, I explained how you can post supplier invoices. And in the video today, I'm going to explain how you can pay these invoices. So the video today is going to cover the automatic payment run program. And this time I'm going to start with the business case. When do we actually use this transaction and what is it used for? So this program actually can do a lot of functions, but most of the organizations don't use it in the way it should be used. Either because they don't know how to use it well, or because they don't need all the functions that are in this program. So the program can select all the due invoices, which are all the invoices we are supposed to pay in a certain period. And then it can post the financial payment entries to your SAP system. And it can also generate a payment instructions file that you can either download, then upload to your bank website, or you can actually send it directly to your bank system if there is an interface set up between your SAP system and the bank. And it can also send payment advices to the vendors, telling them that we have paid you this amount for these invoices. And the payment advice can be either printed, and then you can send it physically to the vendor or send it by mail, or it can be automatically sent to the vendor emails by SAP. So in a single transaction, you can select the invoices, pay the invoices and post the financial entries, process the payments on your bank account, and send payment advices to your vendor. Now I am going to explain how to run the automatic payment program on SAP S4HANA, and then I am going to show some configuration steps. For the payment program demo today, I am going to use the SAP GUI interface, and all the transactions I'm going to use are also available on SAP Fury. So how to run this transaction on SAP GUI? You can use the transaction code F110. So you can type it here, F110. And you can also find the transaction under accounting, financial accounting, accounts payable, periodic processing, payments. So this is the transaction for the automatic payment run. So you start by inserting a run date. So I'm going to run this cycle today. So I'm going to choose 12, 10, 2018. And the identification can be any five digits of your choice. So I'm going to say demo four. And in the parameters, you are telling SAP how to select the open invoices or the new invoices. So I'm going to start with the posting date. So the posting date is the posting date for the documents I'm going to post for the payments. So I'm going to keep it as today, which is 12 of October. And documents entered up on this, you can change the date to tell SAP to include the invoices that were posted until a certain date. So for example, let's say I'm not going to pay any invoice that was posted after the end of the previous month. You can change this date to make it the 30, 30 September 2018. So this way I'm telling SAP to select only the invoices that were posted until the end of the September in 2018. In the company codes, you are going to mention the company code that you are going to run the payment program for. And for me, this is 1710. And for the payment methods, you are telling SAP that I want to select all the invoices that should be paid in checks or should be paid in bank transfers because you can actually run this transaction for certain types of payments only. It all depends on how you run your business. So for me, I'm going to select checks. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm going to select domestic transfers. You can also check all the values here. So these are the payment methods available. You can actually choose multiple payment methods. So the, I'm, now I'm going to select bank transfer, but I can also ch select a check, for example. So I can click here and click on this arrow, then OK. So now I'm telling SAP that I'm going to pay all the invoices that should be paid in transfers and in checks. Next posting date, this is a very important field. 
you are telling SAP that I'm planning to do the next payment run at this date. So for example, let's say that I'm going to post the payment run today, which is 12, and we have an invoice that's going to be due on the 15th. So if I select the next posting date as the 20th of October 2018, this way I'm telling SAP that I'm not going to do any other payment runs until the 20th, which means that any invoice that is going to be due until this date should be included in my payment run, even if it is not due today. So SAB now is going to select all the invoices that are due until the 20th of October 2018, and this way it guarantees that you are not going to miss any payment or you are not going to miss any invoice and pay after the due date. Now to the accounts selection. So this program can actually be used for accounts payable for vendors and also for accounts receivables or customer accounts. And it can process outgoing payments to vendors and it can also post incoming payments from customers. But for the video today, since I'm explaining how to pay vendor invoices, I am only going to select some vendor accounts. So you can actually keep it open to all the vendors in the company code or you can select certain vendors. So you can select from and to, so say from vendor number 1000 to vendor number 1900, for example, or you can actually select certain invoices by clicking on multiple selections and you can insert the list of vendors that you are going to pay to in this list. Or if you would like to keep it open as I'm going to do now, you can insert from zero to Z, and this way you are telling SAP that I want to include all the vendors in the company code. Now, um, this is it for this program. All you have to do is to save the parameters. And if there are any missing fields, SAP will give you an error. So if, if for example, you forgot to insert the next posting date, then you'll get an error that you have to insert this field. I hope the fields are clear to everyone. If you have any questions about any of these fields, you can always stop on the field and click on F1 on the keyboard and SAP will display the SAP help, which explains what this is used for. So after saving, go back to the status tab and you are going to find the status parameters have been entered. The next step is to click on start proposal. So click here. So now you are actually telling SAP that I want the system to go and start selecting the invoices. Then I want to see a report of what invoices you have selected. Then after showing the report, you can actually remove some of the invoices or you can edit some of the details before you process the payments. So I'm going to mention the start date as 12 October 2018. And I'm going to say I want it to start immediately. Now it is saying that proposal is running. You can click on refresh here. So payment proposal has been created. Now, once you find this status and the green sign, you can click on edit proposal. Okay. So these are all the invoices that SAP selected, which are uh, according to our parameters. These are all the invoices that are due until 20th of, uh, of October 2018 and that are to be paid in check or in transfers. So the green sign means that this payment will be processed. The red sign means the payment will not be processed. You can always click on any line, so double click here. And SAP will show you the details of this line. So this red sign includes one document that is posted to this vendor. And this document, you can find all the details here in the line. So you can find the amount, the taxes, if there is any, the vendor details, everything. And if you double click on the line again, you can see the reason why SAP is not going to process this payment. So payment methods for this run are not specified in the master record or in the item. When I posted this invoice, when the accounts payable accountant posted the invoice, he did not mention how the invoice should be paid. And since I told SAP that I only want the invoices that should be paid in check or in transfers, this invoice was not selected. 
So uh, how to fix this? You can always click on reallocate and say that I want to pay this invoice in transfer and the bank I'm going to pay from is this bank, for example. You can select from the list here. Or you can say USK, US, USBK1. And the house bank account is, let's check. So I'm going to use the bank one zero, for example. So this way I'm telling SAP that I want to pay this invoice in transfers from this bank account. Okay. Now you are going to find this mark, which means that it has been deleted from the items that are, have an error and it will be moved to the items that are selected for the payment. Go back. You can also tell SAP to exclude a certain invoice from the payment run. So for example, if I want to exclude this line, I can double click here. So this is the invoice number, double click. And the payment block, you can say blocked for payment. So this way you're telling SAP to block this invoice for payment and that it shouldn't be processed in this payment run or in any other payment run until you remove this block. And there are actually a lot of settings in the system to automatically set some invoices to blocked once they are posted. If for example, the invoice is different from the purchase order value or the invoice is higher than a certain value, you can tell SAP to automatically block this invoice once posted. So now I'm going to mark this one as blocked for payment and click on OK, save, go back. So this item now will not be included in the payment run. Once you are done, you can go back. And now you have checked all the details for the invoices that are going to be paid. So uh, the authorized person can click on process payment run, click here. And also I'm going to select the same date, 12, and start immediately, and OK. Payment run is running. You can click on refresh again. Now it is saying that posting orders, eight generated and eight completed. So SAP has posted eight payments. If you would like to display the payment list or what you paid and the financial documents posted on SAP for the payments, you can go to edit payment payment list okay so these are the payment documents that were posted to sap from the payment run so each document will include invoice numbers and the payment number so you can actually check this report for any details you would like you can also export it to excel or you can download it and uh, you can also send it by email to someone I will go back. Now, let me summarize what I did until now. Uh, I started by entering the parameters to select the new invoices. Then I started the payment proposal where SAP used the parameters to select the invoices. And I checked this proposal and then I approved it. Then someone processed the payment financial entries on SAP. Until now, nothing has actually reached my bank account. No one has posted the payments actually to the vendors from the, from the bank. So the next step is to click on printouts. And I'm going to also select the same date and start immediately. Then you have to change this question mark with any uh, identification name you would like. And click on OK. Has been scheduled. You can refresh. And if you would like to display the log or the status of the printouts, you can select this button. And from here, you can click on print job. So payment media created in format. This format is the format for the payment instructions file that I configured on the system. Now go back. So this payment instructions file can be either downloaded and then you are going to upload it to the bank website or it can be interfaced automatically to the bank system if there is a setup for the connection between our SAP system and the bank. 
In my case, I'm going to download it. So to download this file, go to environment, payment medium, DME administration. So this is our payment instructions file. The file format for this one is XML. You can actually map multiple formats to SAP. It all depends on how you would like to see the file and how the file will be integrated with your bank system. And to download this file, you can click on this and then click on download. Then you can select any uh, file name. Click here. File name is going to be XML demo. Save. Okay. Allow. Download successfully completed. So this is our payment instructions file in XML format. And you actually have to do a lot of mapping uh, for between the fields in the XML format and the fields that you actually want to send to your bank system. But uh, there is a default or uh, a standard format on SAP that you can use and modify. So this is it for the payment run program. Now I'm going to show some configuration steps. So to go to configuration again, you have to go to the transaction SPRO. So slash N to go back and SPRO. Then click on this. The configuration for the payment run program can be found under financial accounting, accounts receivables and accounts payables, business transactions, outgoing payments, automatic outgoing payments, this is the configuration for the payment program. So there are a lot of configuration steps. You don't actually have to use all of them. It all depends again on how you use this program. But the main configuration steps are the payment methods. So go to the payment method bank selection. Here you can set up the payment program, set up all company codes for payment transactions, paying company codes. And again, you can always click on any of these documents to display the uh, help the SAP help on what the configuration step is actually used for. So for example, I'm going to show the um, payment methods in company code for payment transaction, this one. And our payment, our company code is 1710 and the payment method that I used is D. So you can click here. This is the payment method I used in the demo today, the bank transfer. And you can always stop on any field and click on F1 to display the SAP help. Thank you for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, follow me on LinkedIn, and also help me by sharing the videos so other people can find them.